All right guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to be ranking every single Kanye West album. So I've ranked a bunch of other artists, um, their songs, but Kanye West has quite a big discography. So that would be tough to get through. But um, yeah, we got 14 albums here. I'm including Donda 2, but not any of his unreleased or scrapped albums, of course. But um, I also just wanna say before we get into it, please consider subscribing. I'd like to hit 250 subscribers by the, the end of the month, which I'm a little bit, um, you know, I still got a little bit to go to get there, but um, please consider subscribing. And anyway, we'll get right into it. So at number 14, we have Donda 2. I mean, there's some good ideas on this project, but it's clearly just unfinished and it's not a very good album. At 13, we have Jesus is King. Uh, it's definitely a step up from Donda 2. Um, but there's still a bunch of weak points, but there's definitely more high points on this album than there is on Donda 2. And at 12, we have his newest release, Vultures 1, his collab project with Ty Dolla Sign. Um, there's some really high highs like, you know, Burn, Fuck Some, and even the intro track, uh, Stars, are really good tracks. But there's also some really bad ones like Vultures and King and Hoodrat. And even Carnival, which is the most popular one. It's not a bad song, but it's also not my favorite. And um, getting on to number 11 here, we have Watch the Throne. I think this is probably the biggest gap between two albums on this ranking or between Dawn to Two to Jesus is King, but um, Watch the Throne is still not a perfect album, definitely, but there's a lot more highs on this project than there is on Vultures 1, and I believe the highs on this album are higher than uh, Vultures 1. Um, so overall, yeah, just a much better album. Although for a Kanye West Jay Z collaboration, you would expect a little more, but um, still not a terrible project. And at number ten, we have Donda. I mean, I think everyone can agree it's pretty bloated. There's just way too many songs on this project. But if he chopped it down to like a 15-song album, I think it would be like one of his best. You know, not like top three or anything, but like. It would definitely be much higher on this because there's some very, very good songs on this project. But um, at number nine, we have um, an album with the opposite problem, which is Yay. It's a short project, just seven songs, and all the songs are good. There's nothing on here that's like his best song of all time. There's definitely some really, really great songs, but for a seven song album, you know, uh, this is about as high as I can put it. And at 8, I have 808s and Heartbreak. Uh, this is his first album off after the College Trilogy. And it, I mean, there's a couple weak songs on it, but um, definitely a lot more strong, like from start to finish, than some of the other albums mentioned here. And going on to 7, we have Yeezus, which this is referred to as one of, if not the most influential album of the 2000s. But um, I notice a lot of people either like really overrate this album and say it's like Kanye's best. Or people just completely underrating it and hating on it saying it's one of his worst but I think it's right here right in about the middle it's a really good album but there's also many other Kanye West albums that I would rather listen to and at number six um, his other short one that came out with yay it's Kid See Ghost collab project with Kid Cudi of course and um, I'm not really a huge Kid Cudi fan but man he did his thing on this this is probably Kid Cudi's best performance through an entire project um, and also I mean Kanye West is gonna do his thing and the production is insane just absolute great project I wish we could get another um, project like this or if Kid Seagulls was just a longer album but moving on into the top five here at number five I have the life of Pablo um, this is one of Kanye's best ever for a long time it was in my top three but I haven't been listening to it as much and it's kind of dropped down below here uh, these next couple albums but getting into number four I have late registration this is obviously the second album out of Kanye's college trilogy and it is a great album I would say it's probably tied with the next album I'm going to get into which at number three is the college dropout so yeah it's Kanye's debut and I think it's about tied with late registration it was really tough for me to decide which one to put at three and four so I just decided there will just be a tie, so the numbers don't really matter. If you think late registration is better than the college dropout, I would not be mad at you for switching those around. And getting on here into number two, I have my beautiful Dark Toasted Fantasy. This is Kanye's comeback album after the whole Taylor situation. 
um, and he came back with a bang. This is an absolute great album, and I think Blame Game is probably the worst song on the album, in my opinion, but for that to be the worst song on an album um, is very impressive because it's still like not a bad song by any means, and just an absolute great album, great comeback album for Kanye West. And it was tough to make the decision, but yeah, it is at number two. So at number one, I'm sure you guys all know, it is Graduation. Now obviously Drunken Hot Girls is a miss, which that is kind of why I was debating putting it down to number two. But I think the remaining tracks are like absolute perfect, like phenomenal. Like out of the rest of the ones, the worst song is probably Barry Bonds, but even that's not a bad song at all. And the other songs apart from that are like literally perfect. So yeah graduation is my favorite album um so leave a comment let me know things you would change around in your ranking and um let me know if you want to see me continue to rate some discographies for bigger artists because i've been doing songs for artists with a little bit less songs you know but if you want me to do some uh, more discography rankings for like drake or other artists with a bunch of albums uh let me know and uh i will do those and leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one